For decades, the overall principle of businesses has been to increase profits, making as much money as possible. However, this is not set in stone. You can question this norm at many levels. Even if we accept that economic profit is the goal, you can still question the way you are making your profit. For businesses adopting a sustainable business model, the aim of the company is not only to create economic value, but also environmental and social value. Of course, a sustainable company also needs to make an economic profit. If you don't make money, you can't run your business. But profit can't be gained at the cost of people or nature. The financial model of a company is the combination of cost and benefits from all the different parts that constitute the business. So we can say that the financial model is a tool that allows companies to organize and evaluate their value creation. It's very clear to all of us what economic value means, but what is social or environmental value? To Dilling, the ecological underwear brand based in Denmark, economic value is important but creating a quality product free of chemicals is their main goal. They are a clear example of how to balance environmental and economical value. We are driven about uh, passion for production, passion for doing a difference for the environment. And where we see the biggest difference you can do in, in the textile production in terms of uh, being sustainable is at the dye house. It's good to buy organic raw materials, organic cotton, or organic uh, merino wool. Um, but if you then use a lot of bad chemicals and colors in the dye house, the things come to the skin of the customers and you wash it out in the wastewater. So really the process at the dye house means a lot. To run a dye house in Denmark, you cannot, I don't think you can do that and earning money. We are only two left and we lose money in the, separately in the dye house every year. But even though as a separate company, the dye house doesn't, uh, is a profit uh, company, then it supports um, all the thoughts that we have uh, here in, in Anki in order to sell sustainable products. So we lose money in the dye house, but then we earn a little bit money in, in, in Anki where we sit today and also in the sewing uh, production. So all in all, we can, we can do a little profit and we can invest and, and try to develop for tomorrow. Ferrovio is an example of a company that has found a way of creating social value that benefits the financial side of the business. In 2011, Ferrovio created the Social Infrastructure Program as a pilot project. Through this program, Ferrovio supports and finances international cooperation projects aimed at the construction and improvement of water infrastructure in Africa and Latin America. Ferrovio provides the funding and expertise through their own employees who volunteer for the program. They have co-directed 18 different projects in seven different countries. Gonzalo Sales, Programs Manager at Ferrovio, explains how this program has managed to benefit the financial model of the company. The three uh, internal uh, impacts, that is um, the growth, economic growth, opening new markets. The second is to reduce the operational risk because you are operating and acting in these countries uh, under the, the, um, the social umbrellas of the regulation. And the third is uh, to gather all your employees in the same purpose, that is to, uh, to work in a, in a social project. So community engagement is one of the most important factors of, to catalyze the, the common purpose and the sense of belonging of the uh, employees of, the, of a company. Operating your business in a sustainable way is a very complex matter. Often, businesses cannot do so by themselves. They need to collaborate with many of their stakeholders to develop solutions together. Take the example of Arhus Vand, a public company that offers and develops resource efficient services throughout the entire water cycle. They have one of the most efficient water treatment plants in the world and now have the opportunity of building a new plant for the challenges to come. We want it to be very flexible. We want it to be uh, a resource recovery uh, at a level that the world has not seen. We want it to be a business development platform for the universities, startups and corporations to, to create new business on. And we want the final, uh, but just as important ambition is to be a spectacularly good neighbor because this facility will be right next to the marina, next to a very nice beach. So we couldn't pollute this area with a, an old, ugly wastewater facility. Sustainability is a long-term goal, 
Therefore, collaboration and innovation are key concepts companies should keep in mind. In the future, we'll have to remove medical uh, components from the wastewater. We'll have to remove microplastics, um, uh, other stuff that we do not know today. So in order to meet these challenges, we need research. So we support research. We need uh, startups to come up with new solutions to tiny things and big things. So we support startups. And then of course, big corporations, Danish and international, will be needed to create such a huge investment and, and a civil engineering uh, task. So it's, it's all the way from university through startups to uh, corporations uh, that we need uh, as partners. We have seen real examples of economic, environmental, and social value tapping into one another. Most companies that generate other types of value in addition to economic value do so because they believe it is the right thing to do. But how do you prove you're actually generating a different kind of value? Let's talk about B Corps. Um, B Corps says that if you're a B Corp company, it's, you're, it's better for the world that you exist. And this is something that we felt like, wow, <coughs> we have to go there. So it's a movement uh, for, for companies that want to have a good impact and a positive impact on, on society and on the world. Companies like Patagonia, Triodos Bank, and Ben & Jerry's have become B Corps. This certification places sustainability in having a positive benefit for the world at the center of your company structure. Becoming a B Corp is a new, complete, completely new mindset for all the company. You have to align all departments. <clears throat> Every single member, employee of the company has to be aligned with the main purpose. And it takes uh, um, lots of work, teamwork, to, to become a B Corp. If you are willing to earn less money because you consider the social well-being of your workers or environmental performance to be as important as your financial performance, how do you remain competitive? We see wastewater as a resource, not as a problem. So it is an opportunity to create new innovation, new business, and new sustainable solutions that we can uh, use ourselves, but also that we can export to assist the world in, in becoming increasingly uh, sustainable. We are here because we're gonna do sustainable, correct production of underwear. And if we cannot find a business model that support that, where we can uh, live also tomorrow, then I prefer to stop and do something else. The business model we found was exactly the thing that, that we um, produce and we have the end consumer. There's no uh, middleman between, there's no one who needs to earn money. So despite the fact that we are uh, pretty much uh, more expensive when we have produced our underwear compared to a lot of competitors, then we can still manage to, to, uh, to, uh, to sell at a good price because there's no uh, retail shops on the pedestrian streets or in the centers or anywhere else who needs to, to earn money on us because we, are, we have the direct contact with the end consumer. If a company wants to do it right, sustainability should be at the heart of the business model. In doing so, being sustainable also becomes a competitive advantage. Being ahead on innovative solutions for resource scarcity, circular consumer models, or recovery of raw materials can provide your company with new future sources of revenue.